Good morning, North Street School family. Today's Friday, May 8th, 2020. And as we wrap up this week, we're also wrapping up the first week of phase three of at-home learning. And a unique feature of this phase is that every Friday, we are releasing an ELA and math video at each grade level that is a review for the work that you've completed this week. So if you're able, we encourage you to check those out via the website or the YouTube playlist if you need help accessing those videos, please reach out, let us know. Your teachers have worked incredibly hard in putting those together and um, they'll really be helpful for you as you wrap up this week's learning. So we hope that everyone has a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend. And if you haven't already, make sure to reach out and say thank you to our North Street School staff. It is Staff Appreciation Week um, for us here at North Street, Teacher Appreciation Week overall. And uh, again, like I mentioned yesterday, a big shout out to your families for helping you at home during these periods of at-home learning. They didn't sign up necessarily to be a teacher, but they're doing it. And um, we have a lot of respect and we're very thankful for for them, as well as I know I can speak on behalf of myself and the administrative team. We're so thankful for our staff at North Street School for all the work that they've been doing to make sure that you have what you need while at home and not in the actual school building. So with that, hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend. We'll see you again next week. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The vision for North Street School is to prepare students for today and tomorrow by creating more hands-on learning experiences. By respecting others' differences, we can create a better school and community for all people. And here's Mrs. Barry for lunch. Hi, North Street. For lunch today, we have a special treat. We have some awesome meatloaf with mashed potatoes, some veggies, and a salad, all from our good friends at a place from Buffalo. Um, so thank you to them and enjoy. Whew, that meatloaf looked delicious. And what else is delicious is curbside meal pickups for those school aged children. Remember those three locations uh, where you can go to get those bad goodies. Uh, those locations are Carter Road Complex, West Street School, um, and Goodman Street Boys and Girls Club. And pick up for those meals occurs Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. And students, Mrs. Ed, well, she always has your back. All right? She's always looking out for you, and her challenge today is no exception. Listen. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Mrs. Ed's Daily Challenge. Listen, I have a favor. If moms, if you helped your children to get on this morning for the announcements, if you would, I'm going to ask you a favor just to step away because I got to talk to your kids. I got a special daily challenge for them. So boys and girls, let's wait for your moms. I'll talk to them later. Wait for them to scoot off a little bit because I got a special mission for you and we got to keep it on the down low. Now listen. Make sure nobody's around, moms are not around. All right, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Just in case you weren't sure, Mrs. Ed's here to tell you, we gotta do something special for mom and make them feel special. So I just got a few ideas for you, but you could surely do your own. So my daily challenge is make something special for mom for Mother's Day on this Sunday. So here are some ideas that I did. And actually, I brought pictures of my mom. That's Grandma Rose. Everybody called her that in Geneva. All my friends, all the people at North Street. Right now, she's up in heaven, but I still think of her often and she's always in my heart. So I brought her down as my inspiration and to help me remember that Sunday is Mother's Day. So Grandma Rose, I'm thinking of you today. So here's a special project that I did. I said, Mom, I drew a picture of my handprint. I put a little heart in there 
and I just did a little message. I said, Mom, you have left your handprint on my heart. And then I put, love Mrs. Ed, because you all know me as Mrs. Ed, but you would put your own first name. And I put XO, because I always gave her hugs and kisses. I love my mama. Another project I did for you was a sun. And I put, you shine in my heart. Love, and again, Mrs. Ed, but you would put your first name. And again, XO, because we always hugged and kissed each other. Here's another option. I did an acrostic poem, M-O-M, -M, and I did a heart in the O. So I did magnificent in oh so many ways. You always made me feel special. Oh, outstanding. In your love for everyone, you were so giving and generous. You'd always say, what's one more? And that meant that everyone was welcome at our house. And marvelous. You were marvelous at cooking and baking. Something Mrs. Ed didn't get. And I have magical memories of you. And then I put, mwah, mom, because we always did that to each other. And if you look at that one back picture, she's doing that. And then I pulled one from my own kid. This was from Billy. And he did, if you have paint at your house, he dipped his hand in paint and he cut a little picture of a heart and he made a flower. And then he did a little poem. If you wanna write a little special poem or you could use the acrostic. And on one of my challenges, we did sin canes. So remember, shh, it's a secret. Sunday is Mother's Day. So get started with your special project for Mother's Day. And there you have it, Mrs. Ed's Daily Challenge. North Street, make it a great day. And you know who loves you, baby, Mrs. Ed. Make it a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Happy Mother's Day to all you mamas. Best of luck on the challenge, students. You got this. And our website of the day today is funbrain.com. It's another website that focuses on educational games and videos to keep you entertained. They organize content by grade level. That way it makes it easy for age appropriate learning and exploring. Okay. And as we know, happy Friday to all you NSS students out there. And although the weekend is almost upon us, it seems as though you never take a break. All right, here's to prove that you just keep grinding. Watch and enjoy. for another edition of Hashtag Ask the Berries. Hey, North Street, welcome for to Friday's edition of Hashtag Ask the Berries. And we have two fantastic questions for you today on this beautiful beautiful day it is a very good day although nice. although i suspect some snow coming <laughs> yeah. with it being friday uh anywho first question up comes from antonio antonio wants to know would you rather live in walmart or target so you had to live in either walmart or target so i see you thinking over there so i'll take this one first <laughs> um, i 
you know, I love Target. I used to work at Target when I was in college, going to school to be a teacher. Um, love, love the red and khakis. I'm gonna say Walmart though, just because I feel like Walmart has a better variety for food. Yes. That's really the only reason why. Totally everything, answer. everything else, Target, pff, awesome, amazing. But for food, which I absolutely love, um, I think Walmart has a better selection. So I'm going with Wally World. <laughs> he took Mr. Barry took mine. Um, I think the same thing. I, oh, I love Target. She loves I Target. Love Target. I know most you parents watching and older folk could spend hours in Target too. But same thing, they uh, Walmart has a better food option and healthier foods too. They have a huge spread. So yeah, I think well, I'd rather live in Walmart, but my, fav my favorite um, store is Target. All right, love it. And our final question here comes from Augie. And Augie wants to know, what is your favorite marine reptile or prehistoric fish. Augie, this is right up my alley, but I'm gonna let Mrs. Barry answer this one first. Uh, my favorite, I'm gonna go with marine reptile. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a reptile person at all, but I do like turtles. To be specific, the painted turtle because they have, Mr. Barry was telling me, they're called painted turtles because they have the belly and the underneath, right? That's colorful. Yes. So, yeah. Fun fact, Mr. Barry, if a turtle is crossing the road, he will stop his car and he will help that turtle cross the road. We're all in this together. <laughs> all you turtles out there. Um, and my favorite, Augie, I'm being honest with you here. I have uh, two prehistoric fishes that are like almost neck and neck here. Fish? Uh, <laughs> fishes, fishies. <laughs> <laughs> that are neck and neck for my favorite. And it's either gonna be the Megalodon, the uh, one of the largest sharks ever to, to swim uh, on this beautiful planet, or I think I'm gonna go with the sturgeon, all right? The sturgeon is still around. It's actually, um, you, it's still in Lake Erie. Uh, sometimes fishermen will accidentally catch them and obviously release them, but uh, for a fish to be alive for such a long period of time and uh, still, you know, have the same body and the look and, you know, live pretty much in the same area is astounding. So I'm going to go with the sturgeon. All right. So Antonio and Augie. Great question. Thank you so much for those questions. And that's going to wrap it up for today's edition of hashtag ask the berries. <laughs> have a good weekend. If you didn't see your question answered today, please don't fear. On the next edition of hashtag ask the berries, your question might be answered. Just keep sending those questions into me. Uh, reach out to me by my email at vberry at genevacsd.org or send a question via talking points. And today wraps up the final day of Teacher Appreciation Spirit Week. Remember yesterday's theme was a cheer day where students wore jerseys or pom-poms and cheered on their teachers. Well, today's theme for Teacher Appreciation Spirit Week is Colors of the Rainbow, Color Day. All right, so you have some choices here. You either wear all one color or mix it up and combine colors to show your appreciation. Send those pictures to my email again, vberry at genevacsd.org or to Talking Point. Final day of Mrs. Taylor's Teacher Appreciation Spirit Week gift card sweepstakes extravaganza. All right. Good luck, teachers. Happy Friday, North Street School. Today's the last day of Teacher Appreciation Week, and we want to just give a rainbow shout out to all of our North Street School teachers. Today's gift card winner is Ms. Martin. Congratulations, Ms. Martin. You are going to be getting a Bath and Body Works gift card in the mail. So hopefully you'll take some time out and just relax. 
Thank you for everything you do to make North Street School special. Today's the day, boys and girls, when we celebrate all teachers at North Street School and we celebrate the unity that we all have together. So hopefully you're wearing your rainbow colors today to celebrate togetherness and team spirit at North Street School. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week, all of our North Street School teachers. We truly appreciate everything you do. North Street School, make it a great day. Way to go, Miss Martin. Ah, oh, congratulations. Awesome. That ace will love that. Um, make sure you tune in every weekday morning at 9 a.m. to watch some fun, uplifting news. All right, and that is all the announcements for this morning. I'm Mr. Barry. Make it a great day, North Street. I forgot who was starting. Take two. Ow. <laughs> well, now we have to redo it. Why? What do you mean, ow? <laughs> Did that really hurt? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> More hands-on learning experiences. By creating others. Hands-on learning experiences. By resecting others' differences. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Curbside meal pickups for school-aged children will take place at Carter Road Complex, West Street School, and the Bus Loop. Yes, those three places. Um, oh, and Goodman Street Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> Did not mean to forget about that. Today is Mrs. Ed's Daily Challenge, and she is doing... Oh, I can't. Well, I don't know if you want to give it away. <laughs> Spoilers in the trailer here. Just kidding. Uh, nope.